the Joe Rogan experience. That's why I think for a lot of guys, uh, you know, walking into an MMA gym, it's terrifying, but it's okay. Everything, start with, you know, one tiny step. And I like, I like doing anything that makes me feel uncomfortable and, and, and takes me off my pins. And, it's huge. And, and because I, it opens up new pathways of understanding somehow, or it certainly forces me to, so, so what I do now with people who I disagree with philosophically, you know, like say I'm talking to somebody who's a hardcore socialist or something like that. It's okay. But what I, what I try to do is I just try to listen to them really. I, I try to kind of zero in instead of like, immediately throwing my hands up did you see you know? what britney cummings said the other day britney cummings or whitney whitney, whitney cummings? cummings no did i say britney did yeah. i i think i was slobbering it's okay too gotta, much of that turmeric turmeric coffee bro, that does gotta, and people say why are you coughing so much i don't want to tell the truth it's turmeric coffee you got a full mouth bro. you got a full mouth you got a <sighs> um shit what was i just saying you said whitney cummings oh she got reported to hr on a show she was on, because as she was leaving, she said, Merry Christmas. Some intern. No. Yes. Intern was offended. Oh, called crazy. Human Resources, because she said, Merry Christmas. And her response was, she was, hey, I, re I really don't give a fuck if you have a good Christmas. It's just a nice thing to say. Yeah. Like, I don't give a fuck about your Christmas. Yeah. I don't even know you. Like, <laughs> something that's really- reported her. That, that, something that's very fucking important to, for people to realize about the West, something that's really unique about the West and Western civilization, is that- Imperialism, racism, sexism, uh, all these isms that we are guilty of. We're, the West didn't invent these things, but uh, we did, we, you know, we were egregious violators in some cases of that. You know, slavery was a, a real thing in this country. But what's, what's unique about the West, and, and I'm getting this thing, is that we were the first to label it and condemn it. And the West has always been country that seems always to be in the process of repenting for its past mm. repenting for its sins that is not common that is unique to and and self-criticism is part of it is as a society we are so people like that silly girl who, who that's been going on actually in one way or another for a long time now it's the intern yes now it's yeah. way more i don't know if it was a girl it, or a boy right now sure. now now it's a little bit more it's it's way more but but that's actually to the character of this country. We have always had people who kind of went, uh, eh, uh, you know, um, that's wrong. I don't want to do that. The, the, this, is, this isn't fair. All that kind of stuff. Mm. And it was a fucking, it would always cause all kinds of problems. But that's extreme. That's a silly goose. Whoever's doing that is dumb Well, enough. it's Hollywood. Yeah. There's a Hollywood thing where these people can't be liberal enough. They're trying so hard to be progressive that they're just becoming ridiculous. Yeah, I know. They're, they get so reactionary. And everyone's scared that they're going to be uh, out of the woke loop. Like maybe they're yeah. behind. They're yeah. letting something slide. They should have stepped up for because now you can get in trouble if you don't come out against someone saying Merry Christmas yeah. like hey man you know where were you when that fucking pig said Merry Christmas yeah. do you know what Christmas means yeah They're like dude they want to take away the word supremacy and quantum supremacy which is quantum computing it's next level next step computing and yeah. there was an article about Google achieving quantum supremacy and they were like, well, we don't like the term supremacy because it reminds people of white supremacy. But do you, do you know what I think about those people? Man. Do you know what I think about a lot of those people? They're, they're <laughs> ready. They're, they're, not, they're young. Yes. They're not experienced. And they're not that bright. I'm well, sorry. Well, this is the thing is they are bright. They just aren't wise. They're very smart. And they know they are, which is one of the reasons why they want to make an argument to push something like that through and think that it makes sense. It's because they're so smart. But what they're not is is you get seasoned by your interactions with human beings. You're naive when you're younger, mm -hmm. and then as you get older, you get seasoned. Your mind changes. But you also get seasoned, yeah. meaning you experience so many different human beings that exhibit these sort of stereotypes and these like patterns of behavior. And you gotta know when people are being knuckleheads, and yeah. you gotta know when people are being wise and objective, and you gotta know when people are being kind and loving, and you gotta know when people are being assholes. Like yeah. you can see all the different things as you get older, you get more data. Yes. You know? And a lot of these kids are like 20. You know, no, they're 22 I know. And, and they're it, yelling about the world like that Greta Thornburg chick that they yeah. keep t breaking every she's 16 16 she's a kid listen you, a, you've got some kid. good points but yeah. this they're using you now well well what happens is as you get older and you try to solve problems at the level of detail 
So if you and I had to really solve some problems, let's say uh, uh, healthcare, if you and I am sitting here. I'm with not Jamie, solving shit. Yeah, if we had to try, right? What would happen is we might come with more of a Republican or a Democratic or a liberal or a conservative sensibility initially. I think once you get down to the level of detail and you try to solve these problems, all that ide- ideology kind of goes out the window because now you're dealing with hard numbers and math and you're trying to deal in percentages and you're trying to deal with what's the best policy for the most number of people. And so it becomes way, way grayer and way less teamy if you are somebody that has to solve problems. Mm. If you are somebody who has to turn a profit, if you're somebody who has to figure out what your what your clientele actually will buy. I, and I think sometimes that's why people who own businesses and, and people who have to make the trains run on time have a different philosophical and political point of view than do people who essentially spend a lot of time reading, thinking, and writing in an academic institution. Right. Because you don't need to get down to the level of detail. You can stay in that wonderful world of theory. And that's an important world. It's not to say that you shouldn't have that, but a lot of journalists come from that world. They come straight from that world of theory, that world of that intellectual pursuit, and and they come right into, then they see the world, and I think that might be why a lot of times people in the media tend to be a little bit more ideological, maybe a little bit more liberal, depending, because you could say Fox News is just as fucking ideological on the other side. But I, I do think your your perspective changes when you have to get down to When you're business. out there in the real world. Yes. Yeah. No, yeah. There's It's no like doubt. fighting. It's like you fighting. You need both, though. Yeah. Right? And this is what, what I think we need to make this distinction. Like, you need these quantum theorists. You need these historians. You need these people that are just completely... Yeah. engaged in whatever the subject in the world is of ideas. Can, and yeah. you know and they're yeah. just lifelong academics and you this is what both. they're going to you do need you both. need both yeah but what the real problem is when people come out of these universities and they have these sort of hard line ideas of how the world needs to change they're revolutionaries people, yeah 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 and, and they, they there's it's very exciting yeah it's very exciting so and they, they want then, to burn down the whole building and then what you start looking for witches yeah. okay and then you start going that bitch said Merry Christmas yeah. and that's what that is yeah that's what nuts google's calling it quantum supremacy can you fucking believe this shit yeah. Yeah. like yeah we gotta burn it down they're burn young. it down they're yeah. young it's a lot of it is being young but, but young people can do some when they get together that should the communist revolution was you know this is also where why discourse is so important right like young people need to talk to other people you know like, like a lot of these people with these ideas are one day going to laugh at those ideas they're one going to look back and go oh my god when i was 20 i was so stupid just like you have done just like i have done just like basically everybody does as they get older you start yeah. thinking oh my god when i was 18 what a fucking moron i was oh my god when i was 24 you want to hear the stupid shit i thought yeah. I, I should do i mean that's part of life <laughs>